everybody, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I got a text from Joanne Fabrics today. Let me get situated here, a little more comfortable. I got a text from Joanne Fabrics today saying, Presidential sale, last day, hurry, calm now or lose out. So I click on the link and I go and look to see what they have on sale. And they have these, the wreath forms, half off. So I'm like, great, let's go there. Well, not let's, I went there by myself because my husband did run it around with me today. I dropped, we came home, fed the kids, and then I um, I ran out there. But anyways, I'm like, great, I'm gonna go get them. And I'm in the store, I look, and first I see Valentine's stuff, 75% off. So then I make it over to the wreath forums, and there's no sign. So I'm thinking, okay, well, that's not a good thing. But that's happened before, so I get on the app and I look and it says they're half off. I ask the employee and then she says, she scans them, no, they're not half off, they're regular price. So I show her what I saw on my phone and kind of find out, I guess the red pages with a red bar at the top were from the last three days and ends today. But then they have a two-day presidential sale. That was a three-day. And the reforms are in the two-day, which is Sunday and Monday. Because I won't get this up today. So today's Saturday. But for Sunday and Monday. I'm like, okay. So I said, well, they should say that. And she goes, well, that's why they're different colors. Well, you know, how are you supposed to know that? They should have the date on each page so you know. So anyways, I just thought they were doing red, white, and blue because it was presidential day. I didn't pay attention to that. So I'm like, okay, so I only got a few things, but I did find some items. So I'm going to share them with you. The first thing I got was this wood sign that says, love you more. And like I said, their Valentine's stuff is 75% off. The candy 60% off. I saw that. And they have some other sales. Um, but anyways, I got some things, uh, of course they had the extra 20% off coupon, but that was only off of sale items and regular price items, not clearance. And this is clearance, so a lot of the stuff I got is clearance. So I didn't get to use that, I think, but I'm one item. But this was $8.99, and it was $2.24 after the discount. So I like the scallop of this. If you can see the scallop edges. That's really why I got this. And the saying's nice and stuff, but I really like the heart. I thought, well, for $2.24, it's worth it. I can paint it. It's a good size. I can put it on a wreath for next year. And then I saw this. Now, this was normally $12.99. And it's just got the little pieces in there that spell out love. And this was, like I said, $12.99. And it was $3.24 on sale. And I'm going to put this on the shelf where I have like our wedding picture and stuff. I thought that would be cute to have that on there. So, and it's a good size. So, I got that. Again, didn't get the 20% off. And that expired today, I think. Okay, the next thing I got, let me make sure that, um, Yeah, I didn't get it off of this either. Now, this is cardstock, double-sided cardstock. And there's 58 sheets in here, 12 by 12. Oh, it says white core. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I really don't want white core because when you fold it and stuff, the white, if I understand, the white shows through. But anyways, so I got this because I'm always needing 12 by 12s to make envelopes when I make cards. For some reason, I... The regular 8.5 by 11 never is big enough. So I got this. This is normally $19.99. All their pads are half off. So it was $9.99. Again, no 20% off on that either. Nope. Oh. Then I got this ribbon, and I only got this because it had the little hearts and dog paw prints on it, but it's only a pink because it's for Valentine's Day, if you can see that. And this was normally $3.99, and it was on sale for $0.74, cents, and it is 7 8 inch by 9 feet. Like I said, I thought it was cute with the paw prints on there. 
and again didn't get the 20% off because it was on clearance so drum roll here was the one item I did get 20% off and actually hold on I take that back oh no no this is okay this is really weird because I'm gonna have to look at this I should have gotten okay I should have got 20% off on this because it was on sale half off and you got it off of the sale items and the um, regular price items now this which it looks like what they took off but it doesn't make sense this value card stock is 102 sheets of 12 by 12 and the only reason I got this is because it's usually 1997 it was on clearance for 997 which it would have been that anyways but um, it says that I got with the 20% off coupon I got a dollar 24 off so for 990 um, 998 that that would have only been what a dollar no, it should have been $2. Why didn't I get $10 times 20 would be $2. How come I didn't get money off of my card stock? I got to go back and find out why. Yeah, something's weird there. But anyways, and I hate when that happens because I already did my Ibotta, which had the 15% back. So I got $4 and one penny back already. And last time this happened when they charged me wrong for something, and I had scanned my receipt when I went to to get the price adjustment because they scanned the receipt they made it look like I returned the item so then they refi they took back the rebate they gave me so I had to email them and send them pictures of my receipt saying no they charged me wrong this is what it was and then they put it back on my account but it's just kind of a hassle but what I don't understand is that am I not adding this upright because if it was um, ten dollars, and you get twenty percent. That would be two dollars, right? Yeah, that would be two dollars. I only got a dollar twenty-four back, so I'm not sure how they came up with that. So I'm going to have to go there and find out what they did. And normally, I I try to catch these things, but again, like always, Joanne Fabric only has one register open. And, like always, I always get the person in front of me that doesn't have the coupons out, doesn't know what the prices are, doesn't know, well, should I buy it, should I do, shouldn't I buy it? So I had this lady there. She got so comfortable, she was laying like this on the counter, talking to the cashier. I mean, I thought she was just going to take a nap there. And she ended up... <laughs> They were going over all these prices. Do you want this? No. Well, I thought this was. No, this isn't. This one's on sale, but this one isn't. This one's on clearance. No, that's regular price. Da, da, da. So I'm thinking, okay, she's finally done. And then she's got a friend that is shopping. So then her friend comes and brings some stuff. And then she tells her friend, oh, well, go get me a couple of those. All this time, I'm standing there with just these few items. So finally, I asked the cashier, I said, is there any way that you can ring me up while they're still shopping? Because why should I have to stand there while they're still shopping? Get, you've already paid for what you got. Get out of line and let somebody else be rung up. And then get back in line when you're done. So anyways, that's what they did. So since they let me cut in, I didn't, you know, dilly-dally around. I paid, got out. Okay, I went and got the sales ad, which was in my car, and the reason I didn't get anything off of the pad of paper is because the 50% off was a door buster, and everything else I got was on clearance, so I'm not even sure what I got the $1.24 off of. I did look at my receipt again, and those are the only items I got, so I'm not sure. So anyways, I was wrong. My mistake, I did not realize that the paper sale was a door buster. Anyways, this is the end of my Joann's haul. Small, but sweet, as they say. So anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.